Next time you or your kids find a dead moth or a butterfly, you're being asked to put it in a plastic bag and mail it in for research. Georgia, part of a six-state program to save our pollinators. Atlanta News First reporter Sawyer Busse shows us how it works. Those who walk through Oakland Cemetery can appreciate the beauty, but the crew tasked with curating and maintaining the gardens know these plants by heart. This is Solidago. A common name is Goldenrod, and it is also a Georgia native. There are over 4,000 species of plants that attract pollinators here. And attracting pollinators is the point. Pollinators are in so much trouble. They're so important because they're responsible for one out of every three bites of food that we eat. But scientists estimate that we've lost from 10 to 40 percent of insect populations over the past few decades. Georgia is home to some beautiful wildlife. And in order to better understand butterfly, skipper, and moth populations, the U.S. Geological Survey is asking people to send them dead butterflies. The reason for this is they want to look at them and see if they've been exposed to pesticides or antibiotics, if they've picked up contaminants from confined animal feeding operations or from agricultural fields. The insects have to be larger than two inches. The dead butterflies, skippers, and moths can be put inside of a resealable plastic bag. The address needed to send the insects as well as other details are in this story in our Atlanta News First app. In the city as a green space that we grow the plants to feed the pollinators because they're important to how we feed ourselves. Georgia is part of the migration pathway for monarchs. The pilot study also includes Alabama, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas. In Fulton County, Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.